You guys, if you are looking for an awesome delay pedal or something that might fit your budget, check out this episode right now. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Steve Ricardo. What is shaking? Thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you are new here, or anybody, if you're checking out this video, smash the like. That would be awesome. Just smash it and subscribe. This is really cool. So we learn together as a community. This is why I do all these videos, because some stuff I do have and some stuff I don't. And, you know, it might be an older product on the market. Doesn't matter, you're always still looking for something. So today we've got this um, mirror image delay from Fender. I know what you're thinking, Fender, oh my God. They actually make pretty good stuff. I haven't really run across anything bad. Today should be pretty good, let's find out. Um, I'm not a big delay guy, I just like simplicity. I've done rockabilly, so you're gonna, you know, you have that slap back that you're always looking for when you're playing your, you know, through your Fender Tweed or your Fender, um, Junior stuff like that, um, but when it comes to like delay pedals, I just like simplicity, just a little bit of delay in behind what I'm playing, and that's generally what I go for. Or you know, playing live a little bit towards the end of a song or something like that. So I've got this. Uh, thanks to Long and McQuaid and Abbotsford, hell yeah! And um, yeah, so I've been kind of playing with it. It's different, it's unique. Um, but let's check out some of these features that this uh, mirror image delay from Fender offers us. So of course you can see we've got the time, we've got level, feedback, rate, and the top corner there is the, the depth, so how deep you want your delay to go. Uh, with that you've got some switches, you've got some, um, I'm getting old, so it's harder to read this shit. So, but I'll have it up here in a corner. Uh, you've got on off for your uh, dotted, you've got type, uh, and you've got your variation from one and two. So unfortunately when you get older these little switches all over the place kind of defeats the purpose. But anyway, well, let's try it and uh, experiment. I'm running through my EVH uh, 5150 into my uh, torpedo which I'm actually running the brand new, brand new George Lynch cabinets. So right now I've got the Mars. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, go to um, Go to Torpedo Two Notes and uh, check out what they've got going on. So there's a George Lynch package that I will run through on another episode. But yeah, today I'm using the Mars. So just dry, so we can get this pedal going. All right. So as you can see, where it's, everything is. That's a little bit too messy. So if I go like, usually 11 o'clock is a pretty good. Maybe 10. All right, so let's kind of. That's more of a slap back, right? That's kind of where I usually have it, but not so many. Uh... So, 
okay, so dotted one eighth, right? So if I go into the on, that's where you're having all your doubling on top of the doubling. If I take that off, there, that's more. So, a lot of the stuff with delay pedals, you're just gonna have to experiment. Find what you're looking for. So if I crank the feedback. Not bad. Again, it's just... Crank the rate of the time anyway. We had this today. I guess it's one of the effects. I said it's all kind of feel and, and what you want to do so for the most part it's not a bad pedal I think it, for me it's got too many buttons I you know for me for the kind of stuff you know rock metal kind of stuff you can get a nice rockabilly feel out of it I get a little bit too much distortion for rockabilly, but anyway. Um, yeah, overall, you know, spend some time with it. If you have to come across it, if you can rent them or try it out for a couple couple days, depends where you are, along a McQuaid, you can rent them. Probably sometimes the best way to get a pedal to see if it's going to suit you is to rent them for like a month. If it's something that's going to suit what you're looking for, then you go ahead and purchase it. Uh, I'm not sure what they have in the States or in Europe, if it's Guitar Center or if they do any rentals, but or just spend some time at the facility where you are trying to pedal and see if it works. Nine times out of ten, it's kind of a, it's, it's good for you, right? So, anyway. There is my review. To me, honestly, i probably just give it like maybe a six out of ten. My opinion, solely my opinion. Um, I'm still quite happy with the, uh, the MXR delays, you know. Because they work, they're simple. There's not a lot there. Da 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 da, and you're done. So, but for you know, Fender, hey, they make a durable package. That's number one. It's a good steel casing, um, and it does light up. As you can see, it lights up really well. So you'll be able to see where the buttons are, uh, and that's really a cool feature, especially uh, if you're on stage and it's dark. 
the dials are awesomely lit and illuminated where you are, where the, like the MXRs don't have that kind of stuff. Hey, MXR, pick that up. Good idea. Um, so overall, you know, Fender, good pedal. Not what I'm looking for, but uh, hopefully it's something you guys are looking for. Suited definitely for rockabilly and because uh, it's easy to get that tone right off the bat, right? So anyway, I've been Steve. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs>